Hi there guys, Bullington here, and today I would like to welcome you back to the Zimnadia walkthrough. For anyone that doesn't already know, this series is a walkthrough of the custom map uh, by Morpheus Zero that was built by me, him, and Pope. And there are spoilers. There are lots of spoilers to be had. So if you don't want to spoil the series, spoil the gameplay, go play the map before you watch this. And if you, uh, if you need a guide, this will help you through areas, especially like Carrington here. Uh, but today, we're going to be continuing. Um, I have already collected it, but as somebody so helpfully mentioned last episode, that there is coal. There was coal in this furnace. There was a 32 stack of coal in each one of these furnaces, which I had no idea was there. Which is something that Morpheus added, and that sign is that sign is blank for some reason. Uh, but anyways, we need to do some mining. That was something that we were tasked with doing last episode. Uh, what's down here? There appears to be a little dock down here. That's very str Oh, that would be a squid. That looked very strange to me. Hello, piggy. Alright, I guess we're heading this way over to the mine. Alright, and I was down here a minute ago to prepare for this episode a little bit. Um, so I've grabbed the coal out of here. Uh, I've grabbed the actually there was some lore in here, which we will read right about now All right The Chronicles of Zimnadia, I believe we have the episode one of this so let's see which one it is. I think it's this one the Chronicles of Zimnadia volume 1a Long ago before a time when history was even recorded or before there was language or written words before society, before order, there was anarchy. Those are the days we refer to as the Dark Ages. It was a time when Zimnadia was not yet born. It was a land separated in culture and plagued by wars, fought by those who, not, who knew not why they even fought. But that all changed. A mighty champion arose from a small village called pra which in their native tongue translate loosely to pure in heart. We fought for justice, developed the first written language using some letters that we still use today. Over time, the people respected him and his ways of thinking, pledged their loyalty to him. This was when the First Age began, led by King Zimnus, the first. He claimed the lands of Zimnadia to be as far as the sun and moon could be seen. He implemented education systems, created libraries as a hub to store knowledge of popular scholars, to save their wisdom in books and even created the first system of government and laws. The first age was a happy time of prosperity, but all things end. All right, that's the end of the first part. We've got, uh, I might as well go ahead and read the second part as well over here. And then we've got uh, this part here as well. Zimnadia Chronicles, volume 1b. With the rise of governments and culture came the birth of modern religion. The Brotherhood of Priests were formed as a cult of believer, believers in a higher power that gave them knowledge, the knowledge to be able to make advancements in science and technology. The founder of this movement was a man by the name of Elijah. He is the first known priest in recorded history. He was also the first to stand against Zimnas. Originally, the Brotherhood was not accepted by the public, and the people of Zimnadia urged the king to put his heathen and his beliefs down. This is why the Templar Knights were created, first trained by the great King Zemnas himself. Their original mission was to seek out and oppress the priests. Over time, though, people began to accept the different ways of thinking after the priests made advancements in modern medicine. So the Templar Knights then assigned, were then assigned to each city and village in secret to keep an eye on the priests. When it was discovered that they had invented a teleportation device the king ordered the knights to steal it it was this act that set the war in motion all right there we go and let's see what's i believe this is the next part the chronicles of zimnadia volume two the lands had been peaceful for so long no one expected the first age would end so violently the Templars rounded up Elijah and had him executed by fire and his ashes sealed away in a hidden tomb for all of eternity. The priests tried to fight back at first, but when they realized they were outnumbered and outgunned, they surrendered. Laws and regulations were passed to restrict the rights of the priests. 
After the wars, this marked the beginning of the Second Age, where, which is where we are now and have been for the past thousand years. The Zimnas bloodline has survived over the years, but the most recent King Zimnas has fallen ill and has no heir. The Templars grew corrupt, and General Tiberius of the Knights has taken on leadership of the kingdoms in the king's stead. He wishes to rid the world of the priests once and for all, and doesn't care who gets killed in the process. All right, so I believe we are caught up. Uh, we do have one journal that we wouldn't, we haven't read yet. It's day number 127 of my assignment. The Templars have me watching the priest in Carrington to make sure that he's not planning anything. I managed to see him disappear into the water fountain the other day, but when I looked, I couldn't find the entrance. The church. There must be a secret switch in the church to open the entrance. Tonight I'm going to sneak into the church and find out. End of entry. So we will go explore that once we're done with the mine. Oh gosh, look at this armor. The armor is funny, I have ears. But uh, we will go there in a few seconds when we are done down here in the mines because we do have to explore them a bit. Alright. Alright, that's a bunch of exploring right there, but we do need the coal, so we'll go ahead and mine the coal while we're here. And that's not coal. That's coal. There we go. And I know I already have a lot of it. Uh, it's really I was revealing that there was that was coal in those furnaces because I know not everybody checks furnaces if they see them in adventure map. But uh, yes, there was coal in that, and I can trade all of these things to Duncan for nicer things. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we got here. Um, that should be just about all the coal that I need. All right. Okay, so let's head ourselves back over to Carrington and we will see go check out our uh, message board and see what we've got We also do have the coal the coal is for training With the actually it was for trading with Duncan over here in the shop. So we're gonna see what we can buy from him And I also appear to be starving All right Duncan two coal per emerald so he can turn emeralds into good stuff so let's get ourselves a good chunk of emeralds. Oh, I guess he doesn't have that many emeralds. Hmm. Emeralds. Yep, he's out of emeralds. Okay, so best I can do is 10 emeralds. Um, I already stole from the starving young, the starving youngins. That was weird. All right, so this wheat has not grown yet. Let's go take a look at the achievement board and see what we need to do. Uh, make a stone sword. Um, I have the means to do... Actually, I do need to go punch another tree. Um, there we go. Oh, this is that weird, uh, this is that weird glitch that I noticed the last episode. I think we'll take down this tree, actually. And then we can make a stone sword and that'll be finished. And I have an axe, but I forgot to use it because I'm an idiot. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and go back over here. And there's not a crafting table in his house, but there is one over here, I believe. Crafting table. Bazoom. Alright, so we'll go ahead and break these sticks, these logs, or planks up into sticks, and we will make ourselves a stone sword, which I should have done from the beginning in retrospect. Um, now that we've read all this lore, we can go ahead and put it away in the chest. Um, go. Alright, so we've got our sticks, and we've got our stone sword now, so we should be have one achievement taken care of right off the bat. And we'll see. Uh, make a stone sword, make some bread. Got it. Mine enough coal from the lords. Uh, then buy a helmet for the priest. Got it. I'm going to go buy that helmet from him now that I've got the uh, the emeralds. But um, I want to go ahead and knock it off anyways. Complete the blacksmith's forge quest. Uh, we did that. That was we were shooting arrows down the, the shooting range. Five. Discover the secret room at the tavern and inn. Yes, we found that. Uh, read the journal and rescue the Templar. I believe... 
we have to do that. Okay. Uh, make an iron sword. Obtain full leather armor. We have full leather armor, even though I think it was given to us. Uh, I'm not going to bother farming it because that's that's a that's busy work, and I don't feel like doing that uh, for the walkthrough. So we won't worry about that. I will do some mining and make an iron sword between that this episode and the next episode. Uh, join the Templar Knights by finding the hidden path. I'm not sure about that. We will have to look. Uh, catch five fish. I do have to make a fishing pole. Uh, destroy the zombie spawner. Haven't found the zombie spawner yet. There was one in the mines, but I don't know if that counts. Or I don't remember if that counts. Find the three chronicles book. Okay, we found one of... Actually, we did find all three of them. And find the myths book. We did that. Seek the truth of the myths book. We do need to reread that. I thought we read it last episode, but I guess we didn't. Um, and then find the four hidden pumpkins. We have three, so we're still missing one. But uh, that's pretty much... Doing this on camera, knocking these off, uh, will let you guys get a better sense of what we've I've actually done in the uh, the two cha in the two chapters, including this one and the ones in the future. This is the way I'm going to do it, so that you know is what has gotten finished already and what hasn't. But that's pretty much where I would like to end off this episode or this part of the walkthrough. So if you would like to uh, find out more about the map be sure to watch the next one because it will continue where this one goes and it will go right on with the story and i believe we'll be getting out of carrington in the next episode so until next time this is bullington signing off